Hey y'all and welcome to the Crazy Sock Lady YouTube channel. My name is Kay and I am the person behind Crazy Sock Lady, the owner of Crazy Sock Lady Co. We're here today to talk all about summer sock camp. This is our third annual summer sock camp. Can anyone actually believe we're going into year three? I can't. It blows me away. <laughs> that we are, it's almost time for year three. I just don't even know how that happened. So can you guys hear the sirens outside right now? We live right in downtown Centerville, Ohio. So this is a, a common occurrence as far as we are like right by the fire station and all of that. So normally you, you hear them a good bit. <laughs> um, okay. Anyways, we're going to talk about summer sock camp, which is kind of crazy because I can't believe it's year three, but also because it's cold. It is so cold outside. The heat actually just kicked on here in my house. When I woke up this morning, it was like barely out of the thirties. And then with like the wind chill, oh my gosh, it's so cold. I had to wear my winter coat this morning. So it feels bizarre that we're talking about summer sock camp and I feel like spring it's just never even gonna come, let alone summer. But here we are. I am so excited to talk camp. I'm so excited for camp to start. Things are gonna be, a lot of things are gonna be different this year. We will get into all of them. I have a notebook right here that has so many notes to chat about. So this video is, like I said, it's gonna be all about summer sock camp. This is going to be an info video. If you have questions about camp, this is the best thing to watch. I will go through all of the details with everything you need to know. There will also, I did not say, be links to anything that I talk about, links to where you can find me, to the shop, the Ravelry group, all of that's gonna be down below. All right, I've got some coffee this morning again, like hot coffee because it's so cold outside. Where do we even begin? I think let's just start with the most basic thing. So I did kind of think back on last year and year one, what were a lot of questions I had? And then I asked on Instagram, hey, any questions about summer sock camp? And I had a little box in my stories so that people could put those in. So I've kind of went off of things I know I need to talk about and then things that there were questions about. And I did jot down some questions too that we'll go over at the end um, that it came in. Most asked question so far is what is summer sock camp? Tons of new people, which is so crazy exciting that have found me since last year's camp. And you wanna know what summer sock camp is. It's super easy. Summer sock camp is a knit along. That's it. It is a knit along. A sock knit along that runs all summer long. Basically, I just want everyone to come and join the sock crazy with me. Like, come to the dark side, knit all the socks with me. It's a perfect summer project because in most places, and I realize some places it's, it's not even summer when it's summer here, <laughs> but in most places, when it's summer, you do not really want heavier, larger projects in your lap. Socks are perfect. They're so portable, you can take them anywhere and everywhere you go all summer long. And they're light. They're not a, a big thing that's on your lap, keeping you warm when it's already so hot outside. So yes, summer sock camp is basically, that's all it is. It is a knit along. It is online. There is a Ravelry group, the Crazy Sock Lady Ravelry group. There will be threads within that group that will have all of the details and i'll go about all the different things with that here in just a bit but there will be a ravelry group for the knit along if you are not on ravelry you can use the hashtag and i will put that here on the bottom of the screen it's summer sock camp 2022 and then the cabins will also have hashtags we'll go over that in a few minutes too i don't want to confuse you all too much yet um, there are little things with the knit along, but basically it's just a knit along. It's not an in-person camp. Maybe one day that would be so much fun, but yeah, 
that's it. It is a knit along for knitting socks throughout the summer. Next question that I had a lot of, like I said, we'll get into knit along specific things in just a bit. I'll save that for a little later on. Next thing I had a lot of questions about is how do I sign up? There is no need to sign up. Anybody and everywhere, because that was one thing I had a question about too, is if I'm not in the US, can I participate? Am I eligible for any prizes? Yes. Anywhere, everywhere, I want everybody to be able to participate in this. Um, so yes, no need to sign up. You just jump in and join in where you can, when you can. Okay, I already covered, can anyone participate? No need to sign up. There is no cost to participate, like nothing. It is just a knit along. There are fun little extras and goodies that you can purchase if you wish, but it is not required. I think next, let's go ahead and kind of dive into the knit along specific type thing. There is something new with this year's knit along though. The start date is going to be different. So the past two years we have started on June 1st and it ends on August 31st. This year we're gonna kick it off a little early and we'll go into why in just a little bit, but we are gonna start at May 28th. So camp's gonna start a little earlier this year, which I think that's perfectly fine, right? We can start knitting our socks and start all of the fun festivities a little bit earlier. So May 28th is the cast on date. That's when you can start your sock. And then the knit along will end August 31st. For the knit along, like I said, there is a Ravelry group and there will be threads within the Ravelry group. There are different cabins for the knit along. And what these cabins go by is it's the method that you knit your socks. So we have four cabins. There is Magic Loop, DPN, Nine Inch Circular, and Wild Card. And it's just the method that you knit your socks. If you knit the Magic Loop, they go in the Magic Loop cabin to be eligible for prizes. Same with Nine Inch, DPN, and then our Wild Card cabin is anything that does not fit in those other three. So think two circulars, high, high flyers, Addy Flexi flips, things like that. Now, last year I did get a lot of questions People asking, I knit my socks on nine inch circulars, but then I also use DPNs or magic loop for heels and toes. So in that instance, you wanna put your sock in the cabin that you knit the most of the sock on. So my thought is it's probably nine inch, so then you put it in the nine inch cabin. So it's whatever you knit the majority of the sock on, that's the cabin I want you to enter it in. There will be chatter and FO threads in the Ravelry group for all of these cabins. When you have finished a pair of socks, you enter it in the FO thread for that cabin. Now, if you are not on Ravelry, all of this information as far as how you can, and regardless, the Ravelry group will be linked on the website, but over at Crazy Sock Lady Co, there is a page for Summer Sock Camp, and I will have all the hashtags on there listed that you can use over on Instagram if you do not use Ravelry. Because like I said, I want everybody to be able to participate. So if you're not on Ravelry, you can participate on Instagram using the hashtags. Now, another question we had a lot of last year is do cranked socks or socks knit on any type of a loom or anything like that count? They do not. These do have to be hand knit socks. So even like cranking a tube and then hand knitting your heels, toes, cuffs, that does not count. The sock must be completely hand knit to be eligible for the knit along. As far as yarn weight patterns, size sock, anything counts. Any weight of yarn, any pattern, any size sock. I just want y'all to have fun knitting socks this summer. So anything will count for that. I apologize if I'm looking down a lot. I have been like, do not forget anything. <laughs> Take good notes so you do not forget anything. All right. There is always a chance for extra entries. We've done that every year. So this year, and all of this will be listed everywhere. So make sure you're reading carefully. If you're not sure, carefully read the Ravelry, um, the first post in the Ravelry thread for your cabin or on the website. Read carefully to see what counts as an extra entry. If there are posts that they do not count, they will not, those posts will not qualify for a prize. So how can you get an extra entry? You can use any crazy sock lady sock pattern. And how you get that extra entry is you post that twice in the FO thread. 
any yarn from Crazy Sock Lady Co., any yarn that you've bought from Crazy Sock Lady Co., will get you an extra entry. Any camp exclusive yarn will get you an extra entry. And we'll talk about the exclusive stuff and when that's available for purchase in just a bit. But yes, any Crazy Sock Lady sock pattern, any yarn you've purchased from Crazy Sock Lady Co., and any exclusive camp yarn, which would also be from Crazy Sock Lady Co. So <laughs> that falls into the anything you purchased from Crazy Sock Lady. Since you can use any Crazy Sock Lady pattern, I've been doing a pattern sale this past week, where it's still running right now, I think when this video will go up, but we're gonna extend that. It was, I had announced that one over on Instagram. It was a celebration for reaching 35,000 followers on Instagram, but we're gonna go ahead and do kind of like a get ready for camp pattern sale and just extend that. So you do not need a coupon code for this. All patterns are 50% off and that will just automatically, that discount will apply once you add it to your cart and pull your cart up and look, you'll see the 50% off has been taken off. So yeah, any Crazy Sock Lady pattern, 50% off. We'll run it for the next week until like, or I don't know, till like May 8th or something, we'll say. We'll have that pattern sale going. So everyone can start getting ready for camp and they'll give you a, I don't know, help you out with getting that extra entry if you want one. All right. I think that's kind of it about the knit along. Like I said, super basic. I just want everyone to knit socks and have fun. You've got some fun opportunities to earn extra entries. Other than that, it's just a knit along. Join in when you can, have some fun. So many people have met friends through the Summer Sock Camp. The chatter threads, the, just the hashtag and things online on Instagram, it's just such a fun way to connect with other sock knitters. I really really enjoy seeing everyone come together over the summer and be as crazy as i am about socks <laughs> i will go ahead and throw in a note as well if you have questions about anything with the knit along and i'll talk more about other things you can contact me here as well i do have an email for summer sock camp it is summer sock camp at gmail.com so feel free to email me there if you have questions, you want more clarification on things, anything like that. I feel like there's, every year there's always a lot of questions and I don't really know what the word would be, but it really is just a basic knit along. That is all it is. Just knit socks, have fun, make some friends, maybe learn some new things. It is, it's just a, a knit along. Um, and make sure if you do have any questions, you watch this whole video and watch the Q and A little part at the end where I'm answering some of the questions that came in on Instagram, because that may answer some of those questions that you have. All right, let's kind of, before we get into the Q and A stuff, let's chat. What's the word for it? Swag, exclusive camp items, <laughs> all those fun things that we've had in years past. So first, our logo this year, I am so excited to show you guys our logo. I've been sitting on this logo for so long and I've only shared it here and there with people that needed it for camp items and I've just been dying to release it to everybody. I just think it's so fun to have a logo for Summer Sock Camp and they've been so good every year. So this year, our, all of our logos, we have more than one this year, was created by Savannah of Monster Knits. She is so talented, y'all. She does so much for Crazy Sock Lady Co. as far as logo work and pins and so many just different things that I could never do myself. And she's just so crazy talented. So I was so thrilled to have her on board this year to do our logo. So let's go ahead and put it up here on the screen. She completely knocked it out of the park. I love it. To me, all of the logos this year, are, they just reminded me of like a retro camping theme. I don't know, that's just what it makes me think of. Um, so this is our main logo for Summer Sock Camp. We also have cabin logos this year. So each of our cabin has their own logo. How awesome is that? I had wanted to do this in years past, but just never got on the ball to get it done before time kind of ran out and it was too late to do so as far as merchandise went. So yeah, this is our first year we've had cabin logos. It's been so requested over the years that we do cabin logos. So here they are. This is where the retro camping theme really like kicked in for me. That's just, it reminds me of like 60s, 70s. I love it. 
so much. Now, camp items, merchandise, swag, all the things. So right off the bat, I wanna mention, in years past, I've had people ask about patches. And I wanna mention this because it's not at Crazy Sock Lady Co, so I want you guys to um, make sure you know where you can get patches at. So Savannah of Monster Knits has had patches created with the Summer Sock Camp logo, and she is gonna have those over in her shop. Patches will be over in her shop. First year we're having those. So excited that she wanted to take that on because I had no clue how to even go about doing it. So <laughs> I was glad she wanted to do that. <laughs> All right, other merchandise. We're gonna have a lot of the same things that we had last year as far as camp swag goes. So we are going to have our enamel pins with the main logo and then also the individual cabin logos will have enamel pins. We will have our progress keepers that are from Fangirl Fibers. That's gonna have our main logo on those. We will have the camp style mugs. I'm gonna put a picture of those here because I do have those done already. I will say, pause for a minute on all this. I'm not gonna be showing a lot of this stuff here because I'm still waiting on like it to arrive to me. It's been ordered. I'm just waiting on a lot of it to arrive to me. So what I'm gonna do is right before I launch all of this stuff, and I'll tell you dates and times for that here in just a moment, but right before all this stuff launches for sale, it'll be a couple days in advance at least, I will do a video, a vlog style thing, showing you guys the merchandise that will be available so you can see it all ahead of time. Um, but I just do not have it all here. So I thought instead of showing just a couple of things and then the rest later, let's just do a video a couple of days before the release and y'all can see all the stuff then. Okay, what was I talking about? Progress keepers, mugs, put a picture of the mug up here. I love this green, I love the logo on it. We did these the first year and then we did not do them last year and I'm kind of bummed now, I wish we would have done them last year um, as well, but that's okay. We're, we're jumping back in with them this year and I love them so much. They are so good. We are going to have keychains this year. They are so good. I do have those already and they are amazing. We will also have our notions tins with all of my favorite little notions, stitch markers, progress keepers, little light bulb uh, markers, the tapestry needle, all the normal stuff you can get in our notions tins, but it's gonna be a summer sock camp themed notions tin. So those are gonna be in the shop and that's not it. So we will also have exclusive yarn and project bags for camp. There's gonna be so many this year. So we are gonna have at least three bag makers and at least five yarn dyers that are doing yarn and bags for camp this year. Now, where can you get all of this merchandise from? Everything this year is going to be over at Crazy Sock Lady Co. All of it will be there. There, it was requested a lot last year that I do like kits. I had an Etsy shop at the time where I was selling the enamel pins and things like that. And that's when I started um, during camp last year selling knitting needles and other sock tools. And it was requested that I do kits of all of the camp items so that people were only having to pay shipping from one place. So I thought with having Crazy Sock Lady Co, why not just have everything over at the shop this year, with the exception of t-shirts and stuff, which we'll talk about in a minute. But yarn, bags, all the merchandise I just mentioned, all that stuff will be over at Crazy Sock Lady Co. So what we're gonna do as far as a release date for all of these items, on May 28th, I am going to do an in-person camp kickoff. Don't worry if you're not in person. Um, an in-person camp kickoff over at Crazy Sock Lady Co. This will run from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And you can come, hang out, knit, cast on your socks. All of the camp items will be available for purchase for in-person that day, as well as online. So the online stuff, and don't worry if you're not in person, I'm not putting everything out in person, I'm holding back <laughs> some of the items as well for online. So don't worry about things selling out in person. There will be stuff going up online as well. Um, online will be May 28th, same day, that's a Saturday. 
and it will be at 4 p.m. Eastern is when it will go up online. All of these items that I've talked about. Now our yarn dyers and bag makers are all different from last year and I will start showing sneak peeks and announcing those as we go. I have already shared one in my Insta stories. Happy Mermaid Yarn has done a sock set. I've started knitting it actually and it is so um, so we have a sock set from them and we also have a bag from them, but the rest I'm going to keep a secret until I start getting those in. I don't have those in yet, but I will start showing sneak peeks of everything over on Instagram. And then there will be a video here on YouTube a couple of days before May 28th that will show all of the items that will be available for purchase. So what about t-shirts you might be asking? Sweatshirts, all the things we had last year, those are still going to be available over on Spreadshirt. I have loved everything I've ordered from Spreadshirt. Their customer service has been above and beyond if there's ever been an error with anyone's order that I've heard of anyways. Um, so we're gonna do Spreadshirt again for t-shirts, sweatshirts, all the things that were over there last year will be available again. These will be released today, the day this video goes up. <laughs> you can head over right now after you watch this video and purchase any of those items with the logos, or it'll have our main logo, all of our cabin logos on any of the items over at Spreadshirt. I didn't even have, I haven't even ordered anything yet. So I'm gonna be hopping over there today as well because I haven't bought anything yet either. And I need all the summer sock camp stuff because I wore all of my t-shirts, tank tops, sweatshirts so much last summer and even throughout the year. The quality has been great. And it's just so, it's just a fun little thing to have, I think, to wear um, your summer sock camp stuff. And those are customizable. So you can add text to it if you wanna put like something with the camp logo. I know people did that last year, like the logo on the front and then they put um, like Magic Loop Cabin on the back. So you can completely customize these, add things, change things, um, different colored shirts, all different, kinds of things. There's so many different options over there. I think that's it for merchandise exclusive yarn bags things. But we do have some questions that came in over on Instagram. And a lot of them have to do with asking if you know this is going to be happening again this year that happened last year and all of that. And if you participated last year, you may notice I have not mentioned some of the things <laughs> that took place last year. So we'll go over these questions and kind of talk about that a little bit because there definitely are some changes from last year's camp to this year's camp. In a lot of ways, I feel like I wanted to take camp back to the basics, I feel like. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed last year's camp. I got to meet so many people. We had VIP campers all summer long where I did Zooms and it was so much fun and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I don't want anyone to think that I didn't and that that's why they're not happening again this year because that was definitely, meeting so many of you was a highlight for me last year, for sure. But I also have to be realistic with being a mom of two teenage boys who keep us very busy <laughs> and a wife and it being summertime and my kids being off school, their schedule is being busy, our schedule is being busy, Eric's work keeps him super busy and then the shop keeps me busy. Like I just have to be realistic with what I can take on and manage. And so I really just wanted to take it back to the basics. This year of it is just a knit along. Let's come together, let's knit socks, let's have fun. So I had a lot of questions about tutorials for this summer. There will still be tutorials, do not worry. I feel like there will not be as many as previous years because I've done a lot of the basics already with socks when it comes to how to knit socks on different methods, but there will be some new ones this year. Um, well, I won't go into the list of them, but there will be some new ones, so don't worry. There are still tutorials coming this year. That is something that will be happening. Um, will there be Instagram Lives this year for camp? Yes. So if you are not on Instagram, maybe that's a fun thing to join in and just have an Instagram for your knitting or just for summer sock camp, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but there will be Instagram Lives this summer as well. They might be a bit more sporadic than they have in times past. I think I was doing like once a week check-ins. So it... We'll just kind of see. I will give plenty of warning ahead of time 
because I know people like to try to plan and schedule their lunch breaks or different things. So that schedule will come later on and I will make sure that's posted everywhere when I'm going to do one and put like a countdown in the Insta stories and things. So you guys will have a little reminder of that. Um, are you doing VIP campers this year? No, there will not be VIP campers this year. That is something that is not continuing this year. Um, like I said, I just have to be realistic with what I can take on. And at this time, that's just not something I can put that much of a time commitment into with doing all of the Zooms and all of the work that went into coordinating and scheduling everything for those last year. So it, for this year, maybe in the future they'll be back, but for this year, there will not be VIP campers. Um, someone had asked about enamel pins. I already talked about that. Yes, there will be enamel pins. Um, are the mugs ceramic or metal? They are ceramic. They are the same style of mug that we currently have for sale at Crazy Sock Lady Co. Um, with the Crazy Sock Lady logo and the Scrappy Sunday logo. So it's the same size, same style. Can we use DK weight yarn? Yes, any weight. Um, someone asked if there will be all new yarn and bag makers this year. Yes, everybody that's coming in this year as far as a vendor that will have merchandise available, um, yarn bags, that type of things at Crazy Sock Lady Co. They are all new this year compared to ones we've had in the past. Will there be camp counselors this year? There will not be camp counselors this year. Like I said, I wanna take it back to the basics. So it's gonna be listed everywhere, just like it was the first year. If you have a question about something, you need help with your sock knitting, etc., send me an email, summersockcamp at gmail.com. Um, yeah, there, it, it'll just be back to the basics this year like it was the first year. So you have that direct contact with me. You always do, honestly. You can always email me for help with your sock knitting. I want you all to be successful with your sock knitting so you can email me at any time. Um, that's typically it, like the normal Crazy Sock Lady Co. email, but for summer sock camp, we're gonna keep it at a separate email so that it doesn't get mixed in with orders and all of that. So any questions about the knit along, about anything at all to do with summer sock camp, direct that over to summersockcamp at gmail.com and I'll put that down below as well. Okay, I'm gonna look through my notes here. Can you guys hear my squeaky stool? We have this, it's an antique. Oh my goodness, what was it? It's a stool, but I feel like it was something and I can't remember what it was. It might have actually been just a piano stool, but I bought it from an antique shop. She found it in a barn and completely redid it. And I absolutely love it. And it looks so good with our piano because our piano did not come with the bench. But yeah, side note, if you hear squeaking, that's what it is. It's my antique <laughs> piano stool. Okay, I'm gonna look through these really quick. Let's see if I forgot anything. I think that's it. I think I remembered everything. I'm sure there will still be questions. I'm, I'm sure I forgot something. Um, like I said, if there are, you can always put them down below the video. I do always try to go through comments and answer and all the comments and things, but the best place is always email to reach me about anything. So if it's regarding summer sock camp, again, it's summersockcamp at gmail.com. And hopefully I didn't forget anything major. I hope you guys are excited. Let me know below if you're excited about camp. What are, do you have any goals for this year's camp? Anything new you want to learn? or try a new method maybe, or maybe you're just trying socks for the first time. It is such a great place. And the Ravelry group, the chatter threads are always amazing with people asking questions in there about their sock knitting and so many people jumping in to help out. It's so fun to watch that all take place in the chatter threads for the Ravelry group. I don't really know that I have any big goals for camp this year as far as like things I wanna learn or a amount of socks I want to do. I have no idea. I just want to knit all the socks, all of them, and chat with y'all about it. That's what I wanna do for summer sock camp. To me, that sounds heavenly. So let me know below if you're excited, what you're gonna knit. So yeah, head over and check out the Spreadshirt. Keep your eyes peeled for all the sneak peeks on Instagram, I'll be posting them as things start to arrive. And then, like I said, I will do a vlog type style video with all the summer sock camp items before they all launch 
which again is on May 28th. If you're local or somewhat local, come join us May 28th, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. over at the shop. The address, all the details will be over on the website, crazysockladyco.com. And then if you are not in person, don't fret. Like I said, I'm holding things back for online shopping. So there will be items <laughs> go up online. I, it would be insanity for me to sell out in person. That would just be crazy. That will not happen with the amount of things that I have. Um, but yes, online, May 28th, 4 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys for joining me and for watching this video all about camp. And I will chat with y'all soon. Until next time, happy knitting. Bye.